Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. The Lord be with you. Hello and a warm welcome to our service of daily prayer. My name's Chris and I'm a member of St John's Scottish Episcopal Church in the centre of Edinburgh. Thank you for joining me today. The fourth century was a time of strife in the church and those who tried to walk a middle way between the rival factions often found themselves assailed by both sides. One of these moderates was Cyril, Bishop of Jerusalem, from about the year 350 until his death 36 years later. He was the special target of many intrigues because his office made him guardian of the holy places, which in the 4th century were drawing pilgrims from all over Christendom. Cyril managed to hold on to his office without compromising his integrity and came to be venerated for his holy life and sound pastoral teaching. In fact, Cyril's pastoral teaching is the chief reason why the church has continued to honour him. Around the year 348, he delivered a course of 19 lectures to a group of people preparing to be baptised at Easter. These lectures reveal his commitment to handing on the faith just as he and the church had received it. But they also reveal his commitment to a still greater task. Cyril did more than simply provide his listeners with information about Christian doctrines. He sought to instill in them a passion for Christ, which would enable them to develop in the new life which they were about to begin through being baptised. So doing, he bore witness to the pastoral nature of all Christian teaching, its duty not only to communicate the faith, but also to nurture the faithful. And now some words from Psalm 34, verse 1 to 8. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust him. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body, and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And now a reading from Mark, chapter 9, verses 38 to 41. John said to Jesus, We saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he wasn't following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. 
hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let's say together the Apostles' Creed. Let us confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray together in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now in the silence which follows, let's take a few minutes to reflect about our world. our own country, the church, and those people and places and situations which are in our hearts and minds at this moment. Remembering the sick, those who are dying, those who have passed on. And we pray and bring to God now all these things that are troubling us or that we're struggling with, but also to remember the things that are, we're grateful for and to give thanks for that. Let us pray.
We thank you, Lord, that you love us all. Except we pray our prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And now an act of penitence. Let us also confess our sins with words from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For my sin is ever before me, and I know my transgressions. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness for all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honour of your name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.